welcome back to 40 Days of Holiness. Grab your workbook. You know what to do, right? Don't skip the workbook. If you haven't been doing it, go back and do it, okay? 40daysofholiness.com if you want to get yours. Today is day number eight. Here's our theme for today. Deeper levels of holiness are needed and possible. So yesterday we said that Leviticus was going to teach us a ton about holiness and about uh, what that means, and today we're going to unpack that. In fact, I want to draw a diagram for you today. I'm just going to use my hand to erase this. Leviticus has an incredible way of illustrating holiness and how it develops and grows. One of the core teachings of Exodus and Leviticus is the defining of holiness as separation, all right, as separation. So I want to draw this for you. First of all, circle number one, all right, let's say this is all people. Okay, all people. And then circle number two, let's say this is Jews, all right? Jewish people, okay? And they are God's chosen people, right? In Leviticus, they're His people, and they're holy. They're, they're holy in a way that all people are not, right? Because they're separated to God. But then there's another circle inside that, and that would be the family or the tribe, rather, of Levi. So the tribe of Levi is, is uh, I'm going to turn this where you can see it, the tribe of Levi, God says, it's mine. Levi is mine, and they're holy in a way that not all the children of Israel are. They are dedicated, God says, to my service in the temple, the tabernacle. They are, they are dedicated in a way that all the rest of the Jews, the people of Israel, are not. So there's another circle inside that one, and that Holiness, we're going deeper into holiness, all right? So verse, or the next one, rather, is the family of Aaron. Okay, so the family of Aaron, uh, they are dedicated to the Lord, and they wear special garments, and they have special roles. They have even more unique roles. They do special things that the rest of the tribe of Levi can't do. Uh, they are holy in a way that the others are not, so that we keep going deeper and deeper into this levels of holiness. And if you get on further on in, you discover that there's a perfect, uh, there's a perfect physical specimen, all right? So the perfect physical specimen is, is important. Uh, he says only that kind of person, and inside that perfect specimen is the high priest, okay? So again, one of the core teachings of Exodus is this defining of holiness as separation. And this separation to God from evil and from the common or ordinary is foundational to understanding the concept of holiness and what God is trying to teach us. Remember, God is separate from everything. And this whole same, di the same diagram shows up in a ton of other ways in Exodus. So I did it once with the priest. You can do the same thing with other things. How about all animals? Okay, animals, and then we have clean animals, and then we have uh, a lamb, or we have sacrificial, as I say, sacrificial animals, and we have a lamb, and then we have a perfect lamb, uh, one year old, and that is the uh, Day of Atonement, right? So that's a totally uh, different issue, but we can do it with, with space. How about the whole world, and then you have the camp of Israel uh, that's holy, and then the tabernacle, right? tabernacle, and then inside that is the holy place, and then the most holy place, and then the ark of the covenant, right? So you can do it with space. You can do it with uh, all, all kinds of different things. You see that? The, the same thing can be done with a lot of other stuff, sacrifices, leaders, offerings, practices, um, days. It's not that all of the Jews weren't holy. It's not that all the Jews weren't holy. It's just that deeper levels of holiness were needed and possible. It's not that all of the Levites weren't holy. They were. They were. It's just that deeper levels of holiness were needed and possible in connecting with God. It's not just that all of Aaron's descendants, all of Aaron's family are not holy. It's just that deeper levels of holiness were needed and possible in connecting with God. Now, for just a moment, Let's pause and bring that idea to our life. A common misunderstanding of holiness in today's world is to believe that it's one thing. It's like all or nothing. You get saved, you've got holiness, and, and you do. Praise God. And that's it. Now I've got it. Nothing more is needed. Nothing more is possible. And I would, I would just caution you that it's not either you got it or you don't, all or nothing, because people tend to think of it as if there's no movement, there's no growth, that nothing more is needed 
or possible. And this has produced roadblocks to some people's spiritual growth. You see, if you don't think that anything more is needed or anything more is possible, then you stop looking for growth and opportunities to draw closer to the Lord and grow in your holiness. You level off in your enjoyment of God and your de depth of your becoming like Him. You don't stay serious about continued growth if you stop seeking and following holiness. And I taught you a couple of days ago to relax into God's drawing of you into holiness. But relaxing into God's continued plan of making me holy is not the same thing as thinking I've already arrived and I don't need anything more. That's a totally different thing. So here's what I want to say and teach you today. If you've just been saved, deeper levels of holiness are needed and possible. If you've been walking with the Lord for a while, guess what? Deeper levels of holiness are needed and possible. The deeper we go into holiness, the deeper we go into God's essential nature. And the deeper we go into God, the more joy and the more satisfaction we find there. The deeper we go into God's holiness, the more useful we are to Him. And the deeper we go into God's holiness, the more glory He gets from our lives, the more we become like Him. Deeper levels of holiness are needed and possible. And that's the first lesson of Exodus and Leviticus. Let's keep going deeper. Never stop. That's what God's got for you next. Deeper levels of holiness. They're needed and they're possible. They are possible. Let's keep, uh, let's keep going forward. Today, uh, meditate on that, what it looks like, and uh, pray the sample prayer. Go through your workbook, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for being here.